decided I needed to edit what I said in the last video about the speed of light being constant for all observers at about 9 minutes and 23 seconds into the video. Unfortunately, I make the assumption that Einstein was the one who completely invented time dilation and it only first appeared in his special relativity. It's not really true. Time dilation was mentioned and was constructed in Lawrence's work, Lawrence's ether theory. Uh, however, Lawrence explained it more as sort of an illusion against the structure of the universe, ether. You have these differences in length and differences in time because of a perspective problem. In Einstein's special relativity, it was understood to be that there is no ether, that when you look at time and space as a combined structure, that becomes the structure of the universe, in a way. The rubber sheet that he sometimes shows in his demonstrations about gravity come from the idea that space-time is a structure itself. And therefore, the dilation in time, the stretchiness of time, is a real thing. And that's what makes it unique and special and different than Lawrence's ether theory. So if you want to read them both, you'll see that they have length contraction, uh, light being constant for each observer, and length contraction, both theories discuss all of this, and Lawrence should be credited with, along with the other mathematicians, Minowski too, uh, they should all be credited with having done similar work. Einstein really realized that there is no ether. Space-time is some kind of crazy structure itself. That's probably what you need to keep in mind, and that's what I wanted to, you know, replace in my other video. So, I'm trying to make an edit without making a completely new video. You know what I'm trying to say. In YouTube, if you make a complete video and dump your last video and put in a new video, you'll end up with losing all of the links and whatnot. So this is my best attempt to edit it. Just make another video mentioning the fact that there is L-E-T, Lawrence Ether Theory, and there is S-R, Special Relativity. They are very, very similar. They have a lot of the same constructions in them. But if you want to read Lawrence's work, you have to accept that there's some kind of ether. If you want to read Einstein's work, you have to realize the ether has been dumped and replaced with the structure of space of the universe called space-time. And later, that space-time as a fabric of the structure of the universe becomes a handy tool for helping to explain how gravity works. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. I'm actually struggling with something called white matter disease. So... My mind is slowly slipping away, I guess. So, anyway, enough about all of that. Now you've got it. I tried to edit it. Go with that.